Denmark is closing its embassies in Mali and Burkina Faso as part of its new strategy for Africa as military coups have severely limited the room for maneuver in the Sahel, the authorities said. Denmark has announced the opening of embassies in Senegal, Tunisia and Rwanda and an increase in diplomatic staff as its embassies in Egypt, Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria and Guinea. Following the closure of the embassies in Bamako and Ouagadougou, a special representative for Great Lakes and Sahel region will be appointed. Mali and Burkina Faso have been dependent on Russia and its Wagner mercenary group since the takeover of power by military rulers in 2020 and 2022 respectively. Mali's relation with European countries has deteriorated recently. Earlier this month, after a Swedish minister criticized Mali's support for Russia, the military authorities ordered the Swedish ambassador to leave the country. Danish Foreign Minister Lars Luki said the reordering of his country's priorities in Africa was part of Denmark's and the European Union's aim to be Africa's privileged partner at a time when the continent is debating whether to focus more on East or the West. A strong focus on increased trade and water initiatives will be part of the new Danish strategy. Denmark plans to provide 1 billion kroner in development aid for new bilateral water initiatives in Africa and 425 million kroner in 2025 alone.